Quite a lot has happened since the end of June when I recorded my last video update for Farmers Weekly. Back then we were a few weeks away from harvest and we started towards the end of July and finished on the 20th of August. Not bad considering we had rain pretty much every other day and a new combine for everyone to learn how to use. Just to give you a bit of insight into how we operate at harvest time on this farm, we have a 25 foot New Holland combine and then we have a chaser bin which is on the back of a crawler and then either one or two tractors and trailers. Most of the time we were able to get away with one tractor with an 18 ton trailer, which made a big difference. If we needed to, we could then add another tractor with a 14 ton trailer. And once we got back to the farm, we had a new grain pusher, which my uncle built this year, which meant we hardly ever had to use the thrower. So if anyone's thinking of using that system, I'd highly recommend it. Of course, now we are in the midst of drilling, we've got the rape back in the ground and I'm trying to keep the pigeons off it, which hopefully will be successful once again. It's been a little bit tricky getting the rape established because things have been quite cold around here recently, but I think it's going to warm up this week, so hopefully things are looking up there. So uh, I'll be back pressing the land and uh, generally just helping things get done. I will be delivering a, another video update in three months' time and hopefully by that stage things will be all nicely done and I will be off uh, shooting some pheasants.